I'm turning on the volume on the radio instead of the fan button. Huh? Uh, uh. I had lots of sleep last. Oh, I had a decent amount of sleep. Nothing too crazy. What is it? Quarter to six. Of course, like always, been up for a while doing some. Well, I didn't even really do any editing this morning because I. That was more social media, comments, posting, do 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 do. Just drinking the coffee. <sighs> what are we doing today? We're helping out Edge. I don't even know what really what the. I think I've seen them once. I don't know much about them, but supposedly they bought out Pace. So I don't. Know, must be. A, fair sized company, I don't really know anything about it. What the fuck is this shit? Fuck boxes. TV box. Um, we gotta go to Nisku. We're meeting up at Pace's yard for some reason and then we're going to Weatherford to load some stuff that's gotta go to uh, Peace River. That's a bit of a jaunt. It's kind of pretty much the same as driving to Grand Prairie, just go a little more north Valley View instead of going to Grand Prairie, which is northwest from Valley View. But. And yes, what if we get to go? Ooh, we get to. Did we get to Dunvegan? No, we don't. No Dunvegan, but dropping into Peace River is still just pretty much the same as Dunvegan. Dunbag and you only hit when you come from Grand Prairie. And here we're going to, let's say, uh, well, that's Highway 2, yeah, all right. Two from Grand Prairie. I'm completely lost. It's weird calling it Highway 2 because I'm so used to Highway 2. Central Alberta is the freeway. Anyways, yeah, so, I don't know, a bunch of test equipment. Or, I don't know, I know there's been some times when I've taken Weatherford stuff from a drilling rig um, back to their yard in Nisku. They have, well, Weatherford probably was the biggest company in all of Canada. Like, they had shops everywhere. Literally by road train, they had, like, four shops. Plus they had, like, well, they had Northlands was another company they kind of bought. Smoky Reynolds. Smoky Reynolds was precision. I don't know. I kind of feel like they were all kind of in cahoots back in the day, but but yeah, we used to have like in Red Deer alone, in between like here, like in Red Deer, the industrial park, and then Blind Man Industrial, which is Red Deer County, and. Um, Probably the other end of, like, every industrial park had Weatherford something. Fishing, testing, drilling, rentals, BOPs, like you name it, pipe. Um, what's my other, why can't I think of the name of it now? Drawing blank, standby, power swivels, <laughs> you idiot. Another good tea bed load, nice and light, and super. You're sending a basket? Damn it, I need a trailer. <laughs> There's been a few times when I've taken out power swivel and a basket, wedged on there somehow, only to find out that there was no way to get it off when I got there. People be mad. You got this basket, how are we gonna get it off there? Well, we got this hoe and a chain. I'm like, that'll work. But yeah. They, uh, closed up a lot of their shops, like they had a ton of beautiful shops, just decked out, of course. So I wonder how Weatherford's feeling the pinch nowadays, if it's still a mega company as it used to be, or has it gone down? It's hard to know because, yeah, honestly, since we closed the Weatherford shop here and in Red Deer and we moved everything to Nisky was kind of like along the lines of the last stuff I did on road train pretty much.
that kind of felt like the end for me there. I was just like, huh. Like, it's kind of sad to see that a once Megalodon company closed like six of their shops in Red Deer. But, but it made sense. We did do quite a bit of stuff for Weatherford when we worked at Road Train. There was always manifolds and swivels to be dealing with, so. Uh, you want in there, buddy? Uh, just anticipating. Me not being typical Albertan. There you go. Pass them on the outside. Oh! All right, stay tuned. We'll uh, be in shortly.
You're not very smooth with that remote. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, do you want me to get the loader to readjust it completely? Windy here. It's a sucking wind. Which is great, just started coming on here now. I was like, fuck, just what I need. Headwind. Oh, these are all loose. Wait, well, look at that. It's a good thing I stopped.
Hey, doing my boomers on the side like that. As soon as we left 60 and it turned right into the wind, I'm like, I'll see you later. I don't know if that's a good place to stop there, Paramount.
what it, especially when it's on warm days and it accumulates and makes slush. And then, uh, yeah, somebody will hit it. I just seen the plow finally going the other way, but Carl hit this and wipe right out. I see it lots. To mention it's good throwing, giving me a car wash I didn't want. Another truck coming, I would have been in some form of situation. What the f hazards? Ah. Come on. And everything was going pretty good, minus the wind. Slow enough, you could probably stop and get that one. It's pretty fresh, shiny. Oh. Still haven't fixed that wiper completely. It's fucking, it's a mess. Slow down, you're getting my windows dirty. other side. Slow. Thank you. 
smoky. Oh, look at it. for the blowing snow. <laughs>